Hey guys, welcome to CR Entry Designers. This is Chetan, and in this blender tutorial, we are going to create a hard surface design. So, without further ado, let's get started. To create this design, we need to add a cube. So, Shift A, add the cube. Just move this cube along the Z axis and then take it on the floor. After that, you need to scale this cube along the X axis, as like this. Then, you need to apply the scale on the cube. So, just Ctrl A and then apply the scale. After that, you need to select this corner edges and then Ctrl B and then add bevel on this edges. Here, you need to add the one segment bevel as like this. Then you can select these edges and now one more time you need to add the bevel at here. But this time you need to add the four segment bevel and give the proper bevel width as like this. The modeling process is very easy and simple. Easily you can create this model. Just follow the video. You can easily do this. Then you can select this edge and here also you need to add the bevel. And this time you can add the six segment bevel. Then the next thing is very simple. You need to select these edges with a shift select. Means you need to select that complete edge loop. And then you need to add the bevel on it. So just select it and then control B and then add a bevel. And this time you need to add the one segment bevel because we want to create that chamfer kind of form. So that's why you need to add the one segment bevel at there. In this way you can add that bevel. Now you can see that looks really well. Then I'm going to repeat the same step to this side also to the back side. Just need to select the H and then control B and then add a bevel on this H. And repeat the same steps. Select this H loop and then control B and then add a bevel on it. Add one segment bevel as like this. Then share smooth it and then you need to add the sub modifier. And now we need to work on this model to create the right topology. Here we can add the loop cuts like this to maintain the good form and to create those harder edges at there. So just add the loop cuts like this. That's not difficult. Then you can select these faces with the shift select and we need to use the simple insert operation to create that loop structure at there on the model. So just repeat the same thing at here. Then just you need to use the knife tool at here and you need to create the center edge loop at there means that center cut. Then you can select that center edge loop and then control B and then add bevel on this edge loop as like this. After that you can add few more loop cuts in these two edge loops. Then you need to add the loop cuts like this and same kind of loop cut you can add to this side also. Then you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the right topology. So that's why you need to create the cuts like this. That's not difficult. Easily you can do this. And if there will be any extra edges then you can dissolve them. And just try to create the right chord based topology on the model. So just I have dissolved few edge loops at there. Means I can easily connect these words and I can keep the good each flow at there. Then you can adjust the position of the words and you can give them the right position. It's totally depend on you. If you want to do this, then you can. Yeah, you will get the pretty good decent looking each flow because of that. But it's fine. If you want, then you can. Otherwise, you can keep it as it is. Then you can see I'm getting the edge flow at there. Then you can create the center edge loop like this. And just try to create the good topology on the model. That's not difficult. Easily you can do this. So just we need to select the words rightly connect vertex path. Or you can use the knife tool. And just try to create the right chord based topology on the model. You can use the knife tool at here. It is all this edge loop like this. Then you can select the words rightly connect vertex path. Just we need to understand the flow of the model, the flow of the topology, that edge flow. 
and according to that you need to create the topology on the model that loop structure on the model so it will follow the age flow I'm also trying the same thing here I'm using the knife tool to create that loop structure to create the path in between the words and to create the good topology on the model Then you can add a few more loop cuts on the model and you can take the symmetry along the y axis. I feel that I need to add for center loop cut so that's why I use the knife tool and you can create that center cut at there. And then you can select that edge loop and then control B and then add bevel on this edge loop. Then you can add more loop cuts in between these edge loops in this way. And now you can see the model looks decent. We have got the smooth shading at there. Then you can select these faces with the shortest path selection. Then you can shift D to duplicate it and then press P for the selection to make a different object. So we can work on this separate object easily. So you will get this kind of form just add few loop cuts at here. And you can select everything and then E to extrude it and extrude it along its normal. And just add the little bit of thickness. And now you can see you will get this kind of outer cover for that design. This looks really well. Then you can add few loop cuts on it to maintain the good shading. And now you can see the design looks like this. Now just I will work on this outer cover and just I want to create few details on it just simple details. Just I am selecting the one half of the model this one side of faces and then press P for the selection to make a different object. Uh, so you can see I have got these two different objects. And now I will work on this side of the model. Just I need to dissolve this edge loop. So select this edge loops and then control X to dissolve them. Then you can select the edge and then press F to fill the gap. Just to fill these gaps. Then you can add the new support to loop cuts at here to maintain the good form. Now that's look good. And similar kind of thing I'm going to do with this part of the model, this side of the model. You can say anything to it. Now just turn on your extra mode and then select these faces and then use the insert operation at there. I just want to create a little bit of boolean details at here. Then you can select these faces and then you can use the loop tool and then circle option. And then you can adjust the scale little bit as like this. And same kind of thing you need to do at this side also. So use the loop tool and then circle option and then you can adjust the scale and then you can use the insert operation at there. Then you can dissolve the edges and use the insert operation one more time. And then you can scale these faces along the y-axis to create those boolean details. It's not difficult, easily you can do this. Then just you need to select these edge loops and then right click bridge edge loop and then fill the gap. Now you can see the design looks really well. I have added the few more details on the inner mesh, that first mesh. And 
those are the simple boolean details easily you can add these kind of details i just want to show you how you can create this kind of design this kind of model how you can start to model it and details are the secondary things if you want to add them you can definitely go for it So now you can see the design looks really well. You can see its wireframe, you can see its topology, everything looks pretty well. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.